Yeah. Never seen it doesn't mean it doesn't <laughs> yeah, happen. Yeah. And look, I, I think the problem with that is, look, we're still at the initial stages. There's so much we don't know about this. But remember, we are talking about the feds going in here on what is possibly a sex trafficking investigation, possibly RICO charges. This will take some time. There are reports right now that people are being issued subpoenas in order to build up this investigation. If you take the allegations in these lawsuits as true, and I've read all of them, I believe the timing of it suggests that these plaintiffs are help cooperating with the government. These are incredibly serious charges that would not only warrant this level of force, but also would be very, very problematic and possibly captured on this digital evidence. I mean, there was an allegation that Combs had cameras in all of his houses, captured everything, maybe as a potential form of blackmail. This is what they're going through right now, all, everything that they've recovered from and, the home. And yet, Ashley, it seems each day we get new pictures of him biking around or hanging out with his kids. It seems he's trying to make sure that the public perception is nothing's wrong, I'm just going on with my life. Well, on the one hand, I'm actually a little surprised that there was such an aggressive raid. And here we are, you know, what are we, two weeks now? No arrests, nothing like that. So I was a little surprised. But the more I look into it, uh, first of all, I learned something new. There is a New York uh, Police Department Rap Intelligence Unit. I learned that. And apparently the Rap Intelligence Unit played an integral part in the reason all of this firepower was brought out, because the civil suits that they assessed acknowledged an abundance of narcotics and weaponry, as Dave mentioned. And so I take real issue with someone who decides to bring in race, saying that, you know, it, let me read it. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. Stop it! It was not about the color of the person's skin. It was about the reports from the civil suits, five of them, saying what's inside those homes. It would have been the same for anyone else. And by the way, if you're going to rap about it and then you're going to live in that culture, you don't get it both ways. You can't decide that you celebrate guns and drugs and then be shocked if people worry that there are guns and drugs. And, and you know, also there was talk, you know, again, his ex talking about her son as if he was the victim. And now we learn that there's a new lawsuit against the son yeah. accusing him of sexual assault as well. He was also named in one of the other lawsuits as being part of the sex trafficking investigation and possibly being part of a shooting that happened not 10 years ago, in 2022. Another reason, by the way, when we saw the raids, I didn't immediately think they were arrested. I thought that they were possibly detained, but I wouldn't have been surprised if they were arrested based on allegations. Dave, are you surprised at Ashley's point two weeks later? No charges? No, because when you're dealing with a high-profile celebrity who can afford the best lawyers, you want to make sure all your T's are crossed and I's are dotted. The arrest, I do think, is coming. You don't do this and not lead to an arrest. It'll be very rare. So I think it's coming. It's just a matter of time. And they have time. I yeah. mean, that's the thing. Is It's not like he's going to go away. And I think this is one of the things we see. And Ashley, we see this a lot in the high-profile cases we cover, is the public always wants immediate, right? They want to see an arrest tomorrow. Why didn't it happen yesterday? Mm -hmm. we, by the way, we saw this with Koberger, mm. right? Everyone yelling at the Idaho authorities, why didn't you arrest him? And then it turns out that they were methodically building up their case. Yeah, and the word is, is that the, the rapper Cassandra, what's her, Cassandra Ventura, uh, is now reportedly cooperating with the authorities. She's the girlfriend, uh, baby mama ex, um, who sued Diddy, and one day later it was settled. Yeah. And the word is that she is a, a major cooperating witness on this. But, I mean, honestly, the, the, the whole thing is just, it's very frustrating that someone brings race into this issue. Yeah. This is a serious case of potential sex trafficking that serious. And if there are weapons and drugs involved, I, I, I just take yeah. serious issue. But I do suspect that, as, as Dave said, there's going to be some kind yep. of an arrest. You don't go in like this without Jesse a Jesse Weber, meat. Dave Ehrenberg, Ashley Banfield, thank you. More from Ashley Banfield. Banfield starts now. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.